In this video, we're going to walk through the ways you can add custom images such as PNGs or JPEGs for symbology in the new ArcGIS web map viewer. At a quick glance, most of us would attempt to follow a similar workflow that we have become accustomed to in the classic ArcGIS Online web maps. Click on the layer and the symbol you want to edit, and when you look for custom image options, you really don't see one. All that you see are some default options, but no place to add in something new. So I'll come back to where these default options are coming from and why you will see a slightly different list. So what are some options? First, and probably the easiest way to make a quick map until a classic goes away, is to start in the classic viewer, and then when you get it to the way you want, open in the new web map viewer. And you can quickly switch back and forth by toggling up here at the top. In Classic, to change your symbology to a custom image like a PNG or JPEG, you select on the Change Style icon for that particular layer. Keeping it simple, we'll leave it to a single symbol. To use an image, you need to have a URL for an image saved somewhere online, like the Napsig Symbol Library tool. So I'll navigate to the Library tool. and I'm looking for helicopter landing zones. So I can either jump to the category if I know which one it is, or I can do a quick search for the symbol I need. And this is the one I need, so I will select it. Online and mobile maps scale pretty well, so I usually just grab the PNG 256, and I will copy the URL for use in back in AGOL. So I will go back to my web map and I will paste the URL, remembering to hit the plus sign to add it. And then adjust the size if needed and then hit OK. So this is the workflow we've all gotten used to. If you want to see the map in the new map viewer, you can toggle back and forth pretty easily. Just be sure to save edits first. When you open in the new map viewer, you'll see that our layer symbology has persisted, which is pretty sweet. Now, another option is to make these available natively in your ArcGIS Online organization so that you can use them to symbolize in the new viewer without Classic. Currently, the workflow requires you to share a style that contains the symbols you want to use to an AGOL folder that you designate. Navigating to the ArcGIS Online organization settings in the map section, you designate a group for web styles. Ours is aptly named Web Styles. Next, you'll need to get a web style added to this group. For this step, you just need a pro style. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will download one from the Napsig gallery that has helicopter landing zones. In ArcGIS Pro, I can add the style to my map or do these steps in catalog. I will add it because I want to save the style to this project for later. Once it is part of the project, I can select share and select web style. If this is grayed out, you might not be logged in. So then I fill in the item details and then hit share. When that is successful, I just need to go back into AGOL and share the web style to the designated group and, of course, update the item details and thumbnail as needed. We can do a quick check back in our web map to see if the style is now available. And it is.